Hi, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to be going through giant cell arteritis. And you can find written notes at zerotofinals.com and in the Zero to Finals Medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Giant cell arteritis, or GCA, is also known as temporal arteritis as it often affects the temporal artery. It's a type of systemic vasculitis affecting the medium and the large arteries. Vasculitis refers to inflammation in the blood vessels. The key complication of giant cell arteritis is vision loss, which is often irreversible. It can cause a blockage in the blood flow to the retina at the back of the eye causing ischemia of the retina and a rapid onset painless loss of vision. Let's go through the risk factors. The risk factors for giant cell arteritis are being older and it typically occurs in patients over 50 years of age, white ethnicity and being female. There's a strong relationship with polymyalgia rheumatica which is an inflammatory condition that causes pain and stiffness in the shoulders, pelvis and neck. You can find a link to the Zero to Finals video on polymyalgia rheumatica in the video description. Let's go through the presentation. The key presenting feature of giant cell arteritis is a unilateral headache. This headache is typically severe and it's centred around the temple and the forehead on one side. The temporal artery may be tender and thickened on palpation, and the pulse that's normally felt in the temporal artery may be reduced or absent. Giant cell arteritis may be associated with scalp tenderness, which the patient may notice when brushing their hair or brushing their face, jaw claudication, which is an aching and a pain in the muscles of the jaw when chewing, particularly the masseter muscle on the side of the jaw, blurred or double vision, and painless loss of vision if it's not treated in time. Associated features include symptoms of polymyalgia rheumatica, for example shoulder and pelvis pain and stiffness, Systemic symptoms like weight loss, fatigue and a low-grade fever. Muscle tenderness. Carpal tunnel syndrome affecting the hands. And peripheral edema with swelling in the ankles. Let's talk about making the diagnosis. The diagnosis is based on the clinical presentation, so the signs and symptoms. Raised inflammatory markers particularly erythrocyte sedimentation rate or ESR, which is usually more than 50 millimeters per hour, a temporal artery biopsy, so taking a biopsy from the temporal artery, which is usually performed by a vascular surgeon or an ophthalmologist, and this temporal artery biopsy, when looked at under a microscope, shows multinucleated giant cells, and a duplex ultrasound scan can show the hypoechoic halo sign and stenosis of the temporal artery. Next, let's go through management. Giant cell arteritis is a medical emergency with a high risk of permanent vision loss. Patients need urgent referral to rheumatology and referral for same-day assessment by ophthalmology or an eye specialist if they have visual symptoms. Steroids are the mainstay of treatment. The steroids are started immediately before confirming the diagnosis to reduce the risk of vision loss. There is usually a rapid and significant response to the steroid treatment. Initially, giant cell arteritis is treated with very high-dose steroids. Even higher doses are used when there's visual symptoms or jaw claudication. The options include oral prednisolone, 
typically 40 to 60 milligrams daily, even up to 100 milligrams daily with vision loss, or intravenous methylprednisolone, which may be used if they have vision loss. Once the diagnosis is confirmed and the condition is controlled, the steroid dose is slowly weaned over one to two years. Other medications include aspirin to decrease the risk of vision loss or stroke, proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole for gastroprotection or to protect the stomach while taking steroids, and bisphosphonates and calcium and vitamin D supplements for bone protection while taking steroids. Finally, let's go through the complications. The complications of giant cell arteritis include steroid-related complications like weight gain, diabetes and osteoporosis, vision loss and cerebrovascular accident or stroke. Now I recommend heading over to members.zerotofinals.com where you can find illustrated flashcards short answer questions and multiple choice questions to test yourself on this information that we just went through. There is also a fact trainer tool which you can use to do spaced repetitions of key facts, repeating the questions at intervals depending on how confident you feel with that fact. The member site is the ideal partner to the other Zero to Finals resources and is already being used by thousands of students in preparation for medical exams. Links are in the description.